From again, back here close to home, let's watch Predictor, our computer-generated forecast model, has nothing but high pressure here at home, which means clear skies tonight. Very cool temperatures again in the morning, frost, very likely. And again, the potential, there is the potential that there is a tornado in here. And so that's why we want everyone in this area to get indoors, stay indoors. It's a potentially dangerous situation. There's a little bit of a bow there. We don't know if it's on the ground. We don't know if it's really a tornado, but it has a signature of rotation. It's a Doppler indicated tornado. You have to treat it exactly the same. Looking pretty good for all the little ghosts and goblins out here tonight. Live Doppler radar. Not putting any scare into us, that's for sure. It's and again, you see, we see cars there in the background. I want to just urge you personally, if you don't need to be out there, don't go out there because you're just going to be in the way of the emergency crews and they need to move. All right, hi everybody. Welcome back to Laidley Field. You've heard of Where's Waldo. Now we're going to play the game Spot Spencer because, <laughs> oh, I think you found me. Okay. I Welcome back. Spencer Atkins on the green carpet here. And here is Matthew McConaughey. Welcome back to Huntington, Matthew. It's good to, it's good to have you here. Hi everybody, Spencer Atkins here in the Weather Lab. Downtown Charleston in the Agri Airport area looking pretty good right now. Still a little bit of rain, but not that severe stuff. Although we still do have a severe thunderstorm warning, which I'll touch on in just a minute, mainly just to the north and to the east of uh, the Agri Airport area. In the meantime, some video to show you how impressive these storms have been. Our crews have been out capturing these scenes. This was Huntington earlier flash flooding. Now the warning is no longer in effect for Huntington, but a lot of people are in mop-up mode right now, and you can see why. This was along 3rd Avenue. Boy, I tell you what, the water right up to the edge of the door frames on so many cars. A lot of people at Marshall University, their cars will be soaked when they get out there and open up the door, and you can see getting to and from class was absolutely a nightmare. Uh, folks, if you ever wondered, if you ever wondered why we say, you know, get out of a trailer and head for a low spot, these are the pictures you're looking at them right now and you can see how trailers are tossed about like rag dolls. So Dunlow, you want to watch out Clifford, you're under the gun right now. We want you to head indoors, get into the uh, basement or the most interior room with no windows. We don't know if this is on the ground, but the tornado, if there is one, would most likely be located somewhere in here moving this direction. Dunlow, that puts you in the path up next. That's the flood wall and they put up the gate last time in 19 97, I believe it was. I recall that it doesn't happen a whole lot and it has to get up to about 53 or 54 feet. Not looking for that to happen this time. It's been a long time since we've had something on the order of this type of snowstorm. What will, I'm sure, become uh, the President's Day weekend storm. And now, Storm Tracker 13, the area's most accurate forecast. Well, there you go. We had some sunshine today. The colors just kind of beginning to pop here a little bit around town. You know, I'd call it actually, if you've been out on the interstate on I-64, it's probably about 50%. There's still some green left, which is a surprise, although we had some rain today, which is pretty nice. Okay, let's show you now the live Doppler radar network. It's pretty quiet right here right now, and I think we'll start to see some storms fill in the gaps here after midnight. We're already starting to see some showers again from Cincinnati back into Louisville, where they actually had a tornado warning. Some trees down, some power out in Louisville proper, so we'll have to wait and see a little bit more of a damage report. South of Evansville, we also have some very strong storms. A tornado watches over here to the west until about 11 o'clock at night. Some north of Indianapolis as well. All right, let's continue, and we'll check out the 70 forecast here tomorrow. A little stormy in a couple of rounds, and then drying out as we head into Saturday. 77 tomorrow, only 71 on Saturday. 83, though, on Sunday just looks fantastic, very summer-like. 79 on Monday with yet another possibility of some strong storms coming by because it's going to get cool back in the 60s next Tuesday and next Wednesday. Time-lapse photography, this one just in. Guys, this is like nature's fireworks. Ooh, ah, want to watch this one? This is Raleigh County. Beautiful sunset out there once again. But those high, thin clouds, those are the key here. They're a sign that there are some more storms on the way out to the west. That's worth watching two or three times, isn't it? That's just beautiful. Fall color photo still coming in. This one from the Williams River area. Tammy Harper was up there. It's some yellow trees out by the river. And you can add to the fall color photo book by emailing us your photos, weather at WOWKTV.com. Don't forget to tell us who you are and where you took that photo. 76 in Charleston right now, 78 in Huntington, so it's still warm at this hour, very warm. 74 in Cincinnati, 74 in Lexington. These storms again forming up ahead of our cold front in what we call the warm sector. This was the warm front showers that went through earlier today, and now we see very spotty stuff, but these are extremely strong storms out to the west of us, and so they certainly bear watching. Let's show you a predictor, and predictor's not bringing anything in 
continuing until after midnight and actually maybe seeing a little garden variety shower or thunderstorm here overnight. As far as severity of the storms, it should be cut because it's not in the proper temperature frame, but it's still warm out there. So we're going to watch it for you here tonight. In the meantime, just a little leftover shower develops in the afternoon tomorrow. Then we have partly cloudy skies overnight, a little bit cooler on a westerly and northwesterly breeze. Bridge day starting off with a sprinkle on Saturday and then clearing up. So storms likely late here tonight after midnight and 64. Tomorrow, scattered showers and thunderstorms. So mainly hearing those windows rattle here after midnight and as we get up and go to work. Saturday again, drying out in the afternoon and Sunday looks great like a summer day. This time of year at 83 with sunshine.